Hey there, Coach Devin here. We are going to talk about Mr. Bro. I'm going to review his broccoli challenge. Uh, if it's a challenge exactly, basically he eats broccoli for a week. Uh, that's, that's the challenge. Eating broccoli, only broccoli, and drinking water for a week. A little confused. I mean, out there right now, like there's, there's stupid challenges. As long as the internet's been around, there's been some dumb challenges out there. Um, they started as stupid things like, you know, cayenne pepper challenges, uh, which moved quickly into uh, things like cinnamon challenges. You put cinnamon in your mouth, try not to choke and feel like death, I guess. I don't know. And then it moved quickly into Tide Pods, which actually can kill you. Uh, I, I don't get these challenges. I'm a little confused. And maybe it's because I'm old. Uh, I don't think I'm that old. But I mean, come on now. I mean, I don't understand the, the need and the want and the, the feeling of wanting to do a, a challenge uh, because somebody else did it. Uh, I thought, you know, like the Ice Bucket Challenge for ALS. I get it. I get the idea. But I think the challenges, they're getting out of hand a little bit. Uh, but... Mr. Bro. Mr. Bro is a YouTuber. Uh, he's fairly popular. And he decided he was going to eat broccoli only and drink only water for a week. So the rules were very simple. He can only eat broccoli for a week. He can only drink water for a week. That's all the sustenance he gets. And the idea was to see how he felt and how his fitness would do at the other end of that. So he did a little bit of a fitness challenge at the beginning. Uh, he ran a mile. Uh, it took him 10 minutes and 23 seconds, I believe, to run the mile. Now, side, side thing there. Mr. Bro better work out a little bit. Because I had to tell you, 10 minutes and 23 seconds for a mile, any of you who are working in metric, that is uh, uh, 1 kilometer, 1.6 kilometers, that is bad. I mean, you could, you could almost walk that in that pace. I mean, it's bad. The guy is not, obviously not very fit. And, uh, I mean, I get it. You want a baseline, but that, that's bad. He also did 10 push-ups and 10 sit-ups. He didn't time it. Um, and it's not like he went as many push-ups as he could do in a minute or as many sit-ups he could do in a minute. No, he did 10 push-ups and 10 sit-ups. I don't know. I don't know how that is a test because how do you beat that? I mean, it gets you do more push-ups than that? I think he probably could have done more push-ups at the other end. And if you can't do the push I, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. You have to have some, like, if it's a chat, Mr. Bro, listen up. If you're doing a fitness test, and I'm coming from, I'm a fitness professional. This is what I do for a living. If you do a test, you got to be able to, you know, it's usually time or max reps or something like that. You can't just say, I did 10 push-ups and 10 sit-ups, and that's a fitness test. It's not a fitness test. That, that doesn't teach or show anybody anything. It's, 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 it's asinine. It doesn't make any sense. I'm, I'm confused. But anyway, that's what he did. 10 push-ups and 10 sit-ups. I don't know how he's going to... I don't I don't think there's a way to test how he does better or worse. That's not a test. But anyway, that's what he did. Uh, and then he started eating broccoli. Now, to give you an idea, broccoli is good for you. Broccoli is very good for you. It's got lots of iron. It's got you know lots of good things in it. It does have some protein in it, actually. Broccoli has some protein. However... There are other things you need in your life besides broccoli. I mean, basically, he went on an incredibly restrictive diet that, you know, in, in time is going to make you sick. If this was to become a challenge people did online, people will get sick if they actually completed the, ch completed the challenge. That's just the way it is. All right, by day two, day three, he went out and ran his 10-minute mile, and it actually got worse. Not surprisingly, it dropped down to like a 12-minute mile, which I got to tell you, is, it's, it's atrocious. I mean, you're basically running, I don't, I mean, most people can walk that. Mr. Bro, most people can walk that. It's bad. It's just real bad. His push-ups were bad. I mean, he had a harder time doing push-ups, a uh, harder time with the sit-ups, and he starts to feel awful. Now, not surprisingly, you're feeling awful. You have no fats in your diet. You're basically getting liquid uh, water. Uh, you're getting some calories, but broccoli is not a calorie-dense food. It just isn't. You can eat a lot of broccoli. There's not a lot of anything in the broccoli outside a little bit of protein. There's some, obviously, some minerals and stuff that are good for you. But broccoli is not a, it's not a food you can eat regularly and just say, that's the only thing I'm going to eat. Yes, you could eat broccoli every day. 
100 percent in fact you should eat broccoli on a regular basis however it not as the staple it can't be the staple so not surprisingly by day two day three he starts to he's breaking down a little bit mr bro is not doing well uh and by day four mr bro is uh he's making broccoli fries which again now broccoli fries i've made a baked broccoli made them before super tasty i like it my kids like it it basically is broccoli uh, olive oil and you know sea salt or something like that i use pink himalayan salt because i find it delicious i really like that stuff uh but i feel like you're breaking your rules a little bit there mr bro because you said at the beginning of the that the, this whole thing he was going to just eat broccoli and just drink water i don't know where the oil falls in there it's not broccoli yeah, putting on olive oil, that, that's not broccoli and it's definitely not water. So I feel like he's already breaking it and he's getting some fats that he shouldn't be getting in the test. But anyway, he does that. Found those were pretty tasty. Uh, we're going to flash forward to the end. Uh, so just to give you the, the Coles notes of the whole thing. Not surprisingly, by day five, he's feeling awful. I mean, you're really, you're almost like peak week for bodybuilding at this point. Like you feel terrible because you're, you're at such a restricted calorie level. Now he didn't test... The number of calories he was taking in. Broccoli has not a lot of calories and water has no calories. Now what getting into the olive oil obviously gets some calories. I would assume he'd be under, you know, three, four, five hundred calories would be the max. I say he'd be under five hundred calories a day. Now he's not a big man. He's probably he looks like he's 130 pounds, but that means at a minimum for, to be alive he needs 1,300 calories. He's cut that in half. He starts to lose weight. He's lost two, three, four pounds in you know a couple days. Not surprisingly, if I only ate broccoli, I'd probably lose eight or ten pounds. But I'm a bigger person than he is. I probably weigh a hundred plus pounds, of, you know, up on he, what he has. Uh, but anyway, he's down a few pounds. He feels awful. Uh, again, this is like peak week for bodybuilding times two because you're not getting a lot of protein. You're not getting a lot of anything good. You're just drinking water and eating broccoli. So not surprisingly, come about you know day four, he's feeling his heart beating in his chest. He starts getting scared. Which we all would, I mean, once you start feeling ill uh, because you're doing something stupid like a broccoli challenge, uh, you know, it, it doesn't feel great. And by the end of it, he, he fell out. He, he lasted four and a half, five days. Basically, he was into his fifth day and he had to tap out. I understand that. What I don't get is what the point, I mean, I get it. The point of this thing is views, right? It's views. But you're going to make yourself sick for views. I mean, if you're going to eat something, eat. I don't know, tuna. Try tuna every single day. You could do that. I'll tell you, I got ready for a bodybuilding show years ago and I ate tuna on my decarb portion. And what that talks about is basically you do like four days of decarb before you carb load for a show. Okay. Uh, that's the way you did it in the old days. That's what I did. Uh, and basically I said, okay, well, I need to eat a lot of protein. That's the idea. A lot of people just eat chicken, but you also want to have extra sodium because you're tricking your body into getting rid of water later on. A lot of, a lot of science to it. A lot of silly tricks some of that stuff is bro science obviously but back this is back in the day i mean we're talking you know this is shoot uh 2002 2003 2004 which is when i was competing that's a long time ago it's almost 20 years uh so i basically my call was i was going to eat just tuna for the week or not the week obviously it was like four days of no tuna so it was like a saturday sunday monday tuesday of just tuna and mustard and i drank water it was awful. <laughs> when I worked out, I actually smelled like tuna coming out of my pores. It was disgusting. Uh, one of the worst things I ever did. I felt terrible. But I, you know what? It, it, it was, there was a means to the point of it. I'm trying to de decarb and all those other things. But it was dumb. It was a dumb thing to do. I did that one year. The next year I went, I am never doing that again. And I didn't. I feel the same thing with Mr. Bro. These kind of challenges are in reality stupid. They're not safe. They're dangerous. And they're going to, some idiot out there in YouTube land or in Facebook land or whatever, is going to go out and do one and actually hurt themselves. They actually get hurt and or die from it. It's kind of like the Tide Pod challenge. The fact that Tide has to say, hey, don't put these in your mouth shows the level we're on. This is a big, and I don't have an enormous number of followers, but this is a, you got followers and you need to at least understand that, you know, you could make people sick. You could hurt people if you do something dumb. So, uh, you know what, I, the, the Mr. Bro, bro, the broccoli challenge is asinine. It's stupid. It's not surprising he didn't finish it. And uh, I guess his fitness, I don't, I don't really know what to say about his fitness because he really didn't test it in any sort of logical way that would even work. 
So anyway, that is my review of Mr. Bro, his broccoli challenge. Uh, somebody said this to me actually and said, Devin, what do you think of this? And I was like, I'm going to do a video on that because it's that stupid. <laughs> uh, if you have comments, questions, or things you want me to talk about, write them up right down below. I'd love to hear from you. Just like I said, this is I, I got this from an old client who said, what do you think of this? I think it's kind of crazy. What do you think? So I thought, hey, I'm going to do a video on it. So that's that's where this came from. You can't make this stuff up, folks. This stuff actually happens on YouTube. Have yourself an amazing day, everybody. Don't ever just eat broccoli. Eat other foods. Don't fight the awesome.